Well, I've enjoyed so much working in Johannine literature for a number of years now, I've written a number of books on the subject. In this uh, particular area, there's some exciting research going on in terms of the background material of the writings of John. For example, in the uh, Gospel of John, uh, scholars continue to be riveted on the possible backgrounds of the vocabulary and the thought world of the Apostle John. Former generation of scholars would root that background, for example, uh, purely in Greek categories, uh, like the mystery religions or Gnosticism, or they might root it, for example, in Hellenistic Judaism, say the Platonism of Philo. But more recent scholars, rightly, I think, rather root the background in Palestinian Judaism, not unlike the community that we associate with the Dead Sea Scrolls. In fact, the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Gospel of John have a very similar perspective on eschatology. Then when we come to the epistles of John, scholars continue to try to identify who John's opponents were there in 1st and 2nd and 3rd John. And many today think it's the Docetists, the early 2nd century uh, heretics, kind of coming out of Serinthius style of theology in the late 1st century. And these groups were saying that the Christ came upon Jesus at baptism and empowered him to perform miracles, but just as quickly departed from Jesus at the cross. And so John then will have wanted to refute this because it denies the integration of Jesus' deity and his humanity. When it comes to the book of Revelation, one of the most exciting areas of research for that book is to look at what we call the possibility that it's an ekphrasis. An ekphrasis is a narrative reading of art or architecture. And for example, uh, some of us have argued that Revelation 17 is an ekphrasis. It's really a portrait, a narrative portrait of the Dea Roma coin, which was minted in AD 71. Both of them have very similar portraits of Rome, except of course John's is more polemical. So there is a lot of exciting research going on with regard to Johannine literature.